Hey guys, it's uh, PooperPie44 here. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to use your iPod Touch or iPhone to um, post videos from Splice Video Editor onto YouTube. Um, I preferably would use the um, iOS 5.0.1 version. If you haven't updated that, I would recommend it highly. It works a lot better with all of your apps. But you can get Splice out of your app store for free. That's what I paid for it. But, um, alright, let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to go in, and once you've downloaded it from your app store, you go over, you hit Splice. So I'll rotate it here for you. Alright, so I'm going to go up and I'm going to hit blah. I just made this one for a test run. Um, so right here it's going to ask you, on the bottom right here it says title. Right here it says transition. Or up here it says video slash photo. I'm sorry, my camera is being really crappy today so it won't really catch it. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit title. I'm gonna, it says enter. Well, I have a jailbroken iPod so that's why mine's all different. So I'm going to type in hey... Whoa, hey yo, what's going on? I'm gonna type in hey brother. And then I'm gonna hit done. And it shows up right there. And so you can hit this right down here, it has a little arrow. Well it's a little plus sign, and if you hit that, it'll ask you again if you want to make another one. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go in and I hit uh, video slash photo. I'm gonna go into my camera roll. Um, I will go down, I'm just going to click this Oreo picture, hit done, um, you will hit done, and there's a picture of my gecko and an Oreo, um, so you will yet again hit that, hit transition if you would like to, you can go in and you can hit any of these transitions, there is, default is what the check mark's on, um, we can go to cross, fade, and go slide left, shrink, um, glow, grow, blah, sorry, and then fall. But I'm going to go ahead and click fall, and then we're going to go ahead, I'm going to hit title again, and I'm just going to go g g g g g g g g g g g hit done, I can, right here, after I hit done, I can, I can enlarge it. And I can also increase the time that it is out there. So I'm going to increase it to 4, hit done. And then I'm going to go out and I'm going to hit preview. And with this, it's just going to render your whole thing. And so you're going to see that. And you're going to hit this. You're going to hit play. And it's just going to go through all your slides and just go through your whole movie. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and hit project again. You can go up to this little top bar and you can hit right there and it says audio. And this little bar down here, right here, you can drag that all the way back to your starting. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make my starting point zero. Alright, now I'm going to head and I'm going to go hit the music button. It'll ask you for your Splice library or your iPod library. I'm going to go ahead and just go with Splice library right now. I'm going to go ahead and go with soundtracks at the top. Um, I'll go with Swash Buckler. It's a default one at the bottom here, right here. So I'm just going to click that and then hit done. Wait, hold on. I don't think it did it, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in. Oh, here we go, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit, no, I'm going to go ahead and soundtracks, hit that one, done. Now you see it goes on through this whole thing. My duration is only 16, so I'm going to go ahead and edit, all the way, and you drag this little blue bar all the way back, hold on, it's not going, you drag it all the way back to about there, and you can fade it in and out, and see what that sounds like. So I'm going to go out, that is about right, and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit preview. And now what you're going to do is now you know how to play it and everything, you have your audio put in, now all you do is up here at the top, right here at the top, up here it says export, 
you're going to hit export. You can go for the high, which is about an HD, or the medium, which is just a regular. I'm going to go ahead and hit medium. And you're, it's, it says right here, it says your video project is being rendered. This may take a few minutes, but mine's going by really fast because it's a small video. And then once that is done, it will pop up a little little bar saying it is complete. But um, see it right here, it says complete. Uh, your movie has been exported. It is now available in your camera roll. Hit OK. Hit your home button. Go out. Um, I'm just going to do the sideways. Go into your photos. Um, hit camera roll. Now look right here. It should be the bottom one. And right there. And then right here. So you see right down at the bottom here is a little um, page with a little arrow. Click that and then you can hit send it to YouTube and right there and then it pulls up your YouTube page and now what you want to do is you want to take this and right here it will ask you for your title and um... I'm just going to type in random letters it'll add, under that it will ask you for your description I'm just going to hit random letters now it will go down and you're going to it's going to ask for tags you can just do anything now it's going to ask for a category I'll just go down and just choose a random one Ta-da! Bam! Now it can be public, unlisted, or private. A public is anyone can search and view. Um, unlisted is anyone with a link can view, and the private is only specific YouTube users can use. But I'm just gonna put it on public, and I will um, right up at the top. I'll show you right, right there, right in that blue bar. It says publish. And now when I hit publish, you should see the blue bar coming across, and it said publishing to YouTube. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to let it go. You're just going to let the whole thing go, and then once it is done with the blue bar, it'll say, would you like to view to YouTube? Um, it'll say, would you like to view to YouTube? And all you got to click then is yes, and then, or you could just click no, and then basically there you go. And that's all you have to do. I'll see you next time. Rate, comment, subscribe.